service of those lying beneath. March 1963, President John F. Kennedy toured these hollow grounds up on the hill in front of a Sarong house. He remarked to a park ranger the view was, quote, so magnificent I can stay here forever. Unfortunately, his forever just a few months later. President Kennedy assassinated November 22nd, 1963 in Dallas, Texas. Laid to rest here three days later, the eternal flame lit by his young widow Jackie and younger brothers Robert and Edward, all of whom have since joined our 35th president here at the Kennedy gravesite. President Kennedy buried just yards below the spot from which he made that observation. President's automatically held the leader, but we only have two buried here, President Kennedy and William Howard Taft. Have a son of a president on the driver's side at the crosswalk, followed into the trees and to the sarcophagus of Robert Todd Lincoln, the oldest of four sons of Abraham and Mary Todd Lincoln. He's the only one who survived until adulthood was a captain after finishing college at the end of the Civil War, later on would become Secretary of War. Beautiful view of the beautiful memorial when he dedicated to his father in 1922 and his first there driver's side. Green Park Dust is also automatically eligible. Twelve total in the cemetery, seven of them on the pasture side in Section 5. Including Chief Justice Rehnquist and Berger, Associate Justices Brennan, Blackman, Pope, Stewart, and Thurgood Marshall. He was our first African-American Supreme Court Justice appointed in 1967. After winning an incredible 29 of 32 cases, he has argued before our highest court, including the landmark 1954 school day desegregation decision Brown versus Board of Education. Thurgood Marshall, dark gray headstones, flowers in front of him on the pasture side behind the Weeks Memorial. Pass your side on the hill behind the low gray wall, the final resting place of President John Fitzgerald Kennedy, his widow, Jack. Right back there, the beautiful sight of all those stuff. children. Side of eternal plane, walk up the ramp to see the grave sites of younger brothers Robert, Bobby Kennedy, and Edward Ted Kennedy, both were U.S. senators when they died, both were veterans as well. There's also a memorial to oldest Kennedy brother, Joe Jr. World War II pilot, plane exploded, remains never recovered. If you're stepping off the Kennedy gravesite, pass your side only, walk back behind the tram. The steps of the ramp we have just passed will lead you to the Kennedy gravesite. Every 15 minutes, someone will come along to pick you up to resume your tour or hang on your ticket. You wanna get off here? You wanna get off or wanna do the, well, you wanna just go all the full circle and come back and do them again? Cause I said we can ride as long as we want. It's okay. This is our stop for the Kenny Gravesite. We'll People in line, please yeah, allow our passengers to all way. disembark all right. first. Load the vehicle from the front of the line. Only follow the other, instructions of our host. Huh? Oh, we got Facebook? How far is left? I don't know if you saw that or not, but uh, that picture is beautiful. Not that one. <laughs> I didn't get a very good Please, shot. Ladies and gentlemen, respect those in front of you and board only in the order in which you are in. We appreciate that, everyone. appreciate that. Yeah. You see the Lincoln Memorial, there it is right there, over on the side as well. Well, no, that's not it. One of them there. It's there, I promise. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, Bob. Hello and welcome aboard. Remind everyone, keep everything within the confines of the vehicle. Rain seated. No we stop. Our next stop is at the Coast Guard Memorial. I left the bag. On the passenger side near the curb, Paula said, so like Gray was first African American, four star general in U.S. military history. Daniel Chappie James Jr., U.S. Air Force and Tuskegee Airmen. 28 Tuskegee Airmen turned here. Driver's side, three in the trees, one of our two equestrian statues, and first of 65 foreign nationals to get turned here. British Field Marshal Sir John Hill, liaison between Great Britain and the U.S. During World War II, became a close friend and confidant of our five star general, George C. Marshall, who recommends Sir John Hill's internment here. After recommendation going through screening, foreign nationals and civilians may be interred here. General eligibility, service members killed in action, those who served 20 years, those who earned a medal, your eligible, so is your spouse, so are Jimmy, Deep, and the children. That's why we'll find Jackie Kennedy and two newborns here, but not John F. Kennedy Jr. A dolphin he died, never in the military, not eligible. Married to see Martha's Vineyard, he died in that 1999 plane crash. An interesting civilian in section, section, section 2, pastor side. The actress Maureen O'Hara died a year and a half ago. She's a favorite leading lady of John Wayne, the Duke. She was married three times, buried here with her third husband, Brigadier General Charles Blair. Pastor side, that is Chaplain Hill. Number of chaplains buried here. One earned a medal of honor at the top of the hill with four tall memorials there to chaplains of all faiths, those who served in World War I in the Korean War and the Vietnam War. Driver's side, follow the road to our <coughs> original gate. Completed in 1874. Main gate for about five years. Named after Civil War General George McClellan. He has the distinction of being both hired and fired twice by President Lincoln during the Civil War. Driver's side, Section 12, notables in turn here include Michael Strike, one of six who raised the flag at Iwo Jima, one of three who did not survive the 36 days of Iwo Jima. Also, two Nakashima brothers, they were part of the Army's 442nd, the most highly decorated regiment of World War II, unique, being comprised almost solely of Japanese Americans, while many of their family and friends back home, were being held in internment camps for Japanese Americans. Also in Section 12, Marine Gunnery Sergeant John Bazalone. He's the first to earn the Medal of Honor World War II Model Canal 1942. Second row, like it, want to get back to the action, killed the first day back at Mojima. Driver's side there, three rows back to the the flowers, but it's still John Bazalone. Just past the flowering tree here, past your sides, three headstones, the dark gray with Marvin Allen Ray, first female naval aviator, was a uh, helicopter pilot and instructor, died tragically in a training action, just 34 years old. Ollie Josephine Bennett, Section 12 driver's side, she's the very first female Army field doctor, served in and survived World War One. Pastor side, top of the hill, a couple of notable generals up there. The Marines Marine, General John Lejeune, Cap Lejeune, Marine Base in North Carolina is named for him, often called the greatest of all Leathernecks. The only five star general, I'm sorry, the uh, five before mentioned five star general, George C. Marshall, on that hill as well. He's our only Nobel laureate, won the Nobel Peace Prize for his Marshall Plan for the reconstruction of Europe following World War II. Section on the passenger side, beautiful octagonal shaped white granite stone is the USS Serpent Memorial. 
250 names on it, 250 buried beneath it. They perished when the Coast Guard cutter serpents exploded off the coast of Guadalcanal, World War II, 1942. 250 lives lost the greatest single disaster in U.S. Coast Guard history. Section 34 and passenger side to see the larger light gray headstones like the white ones are standard issue, but you may be able to read more than one name on them because they are group burial markers. Those who serve together, die together, same incident, remains in third year together. Also in section 34, another of the six who raised the flag, he was even one of three who did survive. Team Indian and Marine Corporal Ira Hayes. The only five-star general in both the Army and the Air Force, Henry Hart Arnold. Henry Hatton Arnold was in Section 34, and so is Corporal Frank Buttons. He's the longest surviving veteran of World War I. He passed away just six years ago, 110 years old. Wow. Driver's side, toward the front, through the streets, get a glimpse of the Pentagon, the largest office building in the United States, covers more ground than any office building in the world. We're right parallel to the west wall of the side struck by American Airlines Flight 77, 9.37 a.m., the fateful morning of, November, of September 11, 01. Cowardly terrorist attack cost the souls of 184 there that morning. That's the Pentagon over there. The building, 59 more aboard that ill-fated flight. Take our weekend route, blue route, the map, no distance all you can see our Pentagon 9-11 burial marker. Keep looking, driver's side looks skyward. A beautiful sight, be it day or be it night. The magnificent spires of the United States Air Force Memorial. First you'll see two, then you'll see three. For the bombers, formation of the flying Thunderbirds. For the missing man, formation on the lost and found. And for the three ideals of the Air Force. Keep looking, the third one's going to appear. Back on the ground, driver's side, we will see a globe. That's the gravesite of Admiral Robert Perry. Buried in front of him, Scout Matthew Henson. Those two credited with discovering the North Pole in 1909. Past your side, beautiful pyramid is the U.S. Coast Guard Memorial, and this is our stop. Next stop, General John J. Blackjack Pershing gravesite. Now, Blackjack got his nickname as a derogatory term because he commanded Buffalo soldiers. United States color troops, they were called in the 19th and 20th centuries. But he embraced that nickname due to the quality, the honor, the valor of the men in his command. After World War I, Blackjack Pershing got a promotion to General of the Army's plural. When he was put in command of all four branches of our military, that was unprecedented and equivalent to a six star general. Actually, though there is no six-star cluster still, Blackjack Pershing, the only person to attain that lofty rank, loftiest of ranks, not only during his military career, but during his lifetime. 1976, our bicentennial year, Congress declares that nobody should be ranked above the father of our country. So at that time, our first president and five-star general, George Washington, got a promotion. Just an honorary six-star general of the Army. It's just 177 years after his death. Pastor side, just past the hitching post, they're used by the horses pulling caissons to and from funerals. Four rows back, four stars, Admiral Ben Morrell. <coughs> Father of the CBs, the Navy's elite construction unit, founded just after Pearl Harbor. Their motto, we build, we fight. <coughs> Across the field, past your side, in the middle of the knoll, there is a lone blue spruce tree. That's a World War I memorial tree. One side, solitary standard right here, so very just, just like all of us, man. Highest ranked officer ever in turn your blackjack version. Buried on the other side of that tree. It was right side's most certain we have not one most of life there. There it is, this little twin tree there. Blackjack person, just like a buck private. We'll stop up here for the Blackjack Persian gravesite. Our next stop will be at the tomb of the unknown soldier. Time is now 1.33, so the 1.30 has started. When we get up there, it will be ending. We're going to go to the show clock, change the guard. Lots to do up there, plenty to explore. So I stop for the Blackjack Persian gravesite.